A one of a kind soccer camp is back. It's time for the Girl Power Soccer Camp, and we're joined by pro soccer player and Olympic medalist Lauren Sesselman and San Marcos High School coach Daniel McKell. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. So Lauren, awesome. obviously yeah, you're a professional soccer player, big name here. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, how you persevere as a soccer player, right? I mean, I know statistics show that 70% of kids quit sports by the age of 13 and girls drop out of sports at twice the rate of boys. I mean, given your incredible career, some ups and downs, did you ever want to quit? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think you, as a, as a player, as an athlete, you go through a lot of ups and downs, and there's a lot of times where you want to kind of throw in the towel, but you kind of have to have that inner belief in yourself and that confidence to kind of just push through and to be like, if you want something bad enough, you need to go for it. And there there isn't a lot of opportunity for, for women in sports. I think I read something that annually boys receive 1.13 more opportunity in sports than, than females, and that's part of the reason why a lot of females drop out, especially with the pay um, as you can see, a lot of the pro players are fighting for equal pay and stuff like that. Sure, yeah, so, I haven't seen that. Yeah, so I think that that for us, you just have to kind of be like, if you want something bad enough, you just have to go out and do it despite the circumstances. Yeah, it's a great despite. message. Yeah, it's a great message. Coach McKell, how about you? H how do you keep the kids' love of sports going? Um, I know we hear it all the time, but I, uh, I literally try to make it a uh, uh, fun, yeah. <laughs> you know, we hear right. it all the time, and I'm extremely competitive. I push the girls, but you always have to have a slice of laughter somewhere along the line. Always try to make a little joke here, try to connect, and try to make them feel like you know what I need to be here because it nourishes my soul to be competitive. It nourishes my soul to be healthy, but I'm having fun doing it. Yeah, and that's... I think that has been my formula and thus far has worked. That's so. it. I mean, as a, even as a coach of a little league team, you got to make sure the kids are having fun to keep them going. Uh, Lauren, yeah. tell us a little bit about this camp. Are you going to be coaching? Are you going to be speaking? Are you going to be putting them through drills? You're going to be making them sweat, I hope, right? Yes, lots of sweat. <laughs> Just going out there and I think being present is a big thing for having all the amazing coaches that Coach Daniel has coming in. So I'll be going around, coaching drills, talking to the girls. I think what's gonna be most important is our message and us telling our story because all of us come sure. from different walks of life and have gone through different things in their career and different journeys. So I think it's really um, important for these players to be able to hear that story if it's something that they wanna do someday. But even if it's just, you know, trying to go play in, in high school or in college, yeah. you know, just kind of, being a mentor towards these players and being there that they can reach out and talk to us and tell us anything I think is important. And that's why it's so great that it's just girls as well. So great to hear. Um, we're going to be very mixed in there, just really talking to them one on one, giving them that special attention that they deserve. All right, coach, we'll give you the last word. Uh, where can people learn more information? Uh, go to soccer360.co or join soccer360.com. Okay. And Come and enjoy the experience. It's one of a kind. We have a lot of talented soccer players here. But you know what? As you both know, you can always learn a little bit more. And you are two great people to learn the latest, greatest skill set. So thanks for your time here this morning. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Bye. Let's send it over to Stella. So awesome, Eric, because my daughter has just started taking up soccer because uh, my husband played soccer in high school, and he's convinced that she's the next best soccer player. So <laughs> <laughs> doesn't fall far, far from the tree, we right? We shall see. Uh, apparently, he says, my husband tells me that if he didn't stop playing, he would have been Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm like, oh, OK, OK. Sure, <laughs> I, I, I believe him. I've seen some skills.